Okay, everybody, it is me, Greg Manorino, still casual here. So uh, we need to talk here on this lovely day. So much going on and nothing, nothing is what it seems to be. So what do we got going on here today, people? Uh, well, have you turned on the news? You can't get away from it. Whenever they pull off something like this, and they're having the entire world look in one direction, that means they want you to look in that direction. You need to look the opposite way. This is obviously historic here. I'm referring to the, the indictment of President Donald Trump here. Um, turn on every single news outlet, even the financial channels. It's all about the Trump indictment. Trump indictment. They got people angry, scared, confused, and I don't care what side of the aisle you're on. You're focused on that here. This gives those that control everything a major opportunity to pull something off. You know the story if you've been with me for any length of time. Look here. Look here, everyone. Don't look over there. So what I'm going to tell you here is raise your awareness. The timing of this is suspicious. What do we have going on? We have an economy in free fall. Manufacturing, it's dead. Factory activity, over. Debts, deficits, ballooning. Inflation continues to rise, and that's part of the economic news that we got this morning. Um, but it's being played up, interestingly. So we got this uh, core PCE number, higher by 4.6%, uh, more than expected, actually. And uh, they're saying inflation is softening because the pace at which it's rising is slowing. But inflation continues to rise. Imagine my shock. Imagine your shock here. I want you to pay attention to this too. So they're throwing out numbers that uh, just are completely nonsensical here. Uh, people are earning more money. People are earning more money. People are not earning any more money at all. Real wages are, well, let me read this to you. Real personal income, that is, Weighed against inflation is down 11.47% year over year. This is theft on an unprecedented scale. And you got the propaganda ministry trying to tell you, oh, everything is just fine. Meanwhile, they're pulling this whole thing off again. We're in a full-blown financial crisis. We have at least six banks, six world central banks fully engaged in yet another round, the biggest round ever, of quantitative easing, but you're not allowed to know it's going on. I covered this yesterday. It's right right on the Federal Reserve's own website. I read something to you that was posted on the Fed's website. They're admitting the Fed themselves and five other banks, five of the world central banks are now in, engaged in full-on quantitative easing. Um, People, look, what a charade they're playing on everyone. It's an incredible thing. But but really understand what you're looking at with this whole Trump thing. It's not what it seems to be. Nothing like this is ever what it seems to be. You have to look at the timing of this. Again, financial collapse, banking collapse, new quantitative easing, this blame game. Oh, no, it's, it's not the Federal Reserve It's who actually knew about this banking crisis from November, yet did nothing. It's not the banking regulators. It's the management. So look, all this is going to go away. It's going to go away, and people are going to focus on this whole Trump thing. That's what this is designed to do. Keep your attention off the real stuff going on and focus on this here, okay? Um, and this is going to go on and on and on for as long as they want it to. It's going to fill the airwaves and they're going to drag this out like they always do. Remember, raise your awareness. Don't look where they want you to look. They want you to focus on this. You know you have to look someplace else. And I, I, I know that you get it if you follow this blog because we've, we've covered this here. But I want to hear from you. Um... What do you think about this? And I want you to look this up for yourself. Year over year, real personal income is down 11.47%. People are being robbed blind. They can't make ends meet. You have a Federal Reserve 
who's literally killing an entire class of people here. You know about this because I've told you for years how this is going to play out. We're seeing it unfold exactly the way that you and I would have expected it to happen. Now, central banks are coordinating this together. They're destroying the entire middle class on a worldwide scale, creating dependency on the system. Look at all this going on while Trump is getting indicted. Do you understand? Do you see what's going on here? It's a deception. It's a distraction, just like it always is. And it's a divide and conquer. Um, people are going to be polarized more so than ever. And Tr President Trump is going to become more famous than ever and richer than ever before. All right. So there's a lot of little facets to this. And you have to really think what's really going on here. And I, I know you get it you follow this blog here. Anyway, let's look over here at the market. On the back of this inflation number, yes, inflation continues to rise, although the pace is slowing, but it's still rising. Stop. You can't make this stuff up. Um, stock futures are higher right now, pretty much across the board. Nothing major, but higher nonetheless here. Trading doesn't start for 35 minutes. Uh, the 10-year yield people, the bond market, there's an amazing phenomenon going on. And I know you know what I'm talking about. They are maintaining the illusion of stability here. Um, how are they doing this? The biggest round of quantitative easing yet again. Let's put that into perspective. The Federal Reserve, who is in, in the middle of quantitative tightening, you know, uh, has completely erased five months of so-called quantitative tightening that is, you know, unwinding the balance sheet in just two and a half weeks. It is completely reversed that $500 billion worth of quantitative easing just out of the Fed. Forget about these other five banks that are involved. I don't even know what they're doing. Um, but we know that is going on here. The Fed's own website admitted it. Okay. It's, it's an astonishing thing to me. But not really. You know, look, what would you expect? What is central bank's goal? To inflate. To inflate and then inflate some more. That's how they are, are exerting their control on the population of the world. But remember, look at this Trump thing. Forget about everything else. Focus on that. And that's exactly what people are going to do. Anyway, stock futures are higher. Stability in the debt market? Okay, imagine my shock. What did we cover from months ago? If they can pull this off, stocks are going higher. And that's exactly what we're seeing here. Relative strength of the dollar is lower this morning, or comparative strength. Gold and silver catching a bid. Crypto's doing okay. Bitcoin over 28,000. Crude oil continues to march higher. Do you see all this? Do you see what's going on here? Remember, look here. Don't you look over there. Um, I don't know, people. It, to me, what else would you expect? I mean, would you expect something different here to happen? Of course not. Of course not. But um, it's all part of deception. It's part of the distraction. Part of the cover-up of a global economy that is being completely conquered by central banks who has one goal, to be the lender and buyers of last resort. Meanwhile, we also have this whole other set of dynamics in play here. Not only do we have this Ukraine-Russia war, we have these alliances, very powerful ones being made between Russia and China here. They're going to push us into a, a global war. I mean, it's pretty evident here. But remember, focus on Trump. Don't look at anything else. This is what they're doing. They, nothing that's politically motivated like this, clearly, uh, ever, ever happens by accident. It's timed perfectly. Uh, and in this kind of an environment where everything is literally coming apart as central banks are fulfilling their endgame, fulfilling their goal, well... It's perfect. It's exactly right. And could you imagine your shock, my shock? No, absolutely not. But people, again, they're being they're being crushed to death. This number is staggering. That real personal income is down 11.47% year over year. And that number, that's the one they're letting us know about. I mean, it, it's, it's obviously a lot worse than this. But you can look this up for yourself, and I urge you to do that. Don't take my word for any of the stuff I'm covering here. All right. It's just so important to understand what's going on. But again, what do they want? They want people. They want people afraid. They want people confused. They want people angry. All right. They want people at each other's throats. 
over this entire thing. And that's exactly what they're going to get uh, as they pull off whatever they got to do here in the background. I believe something else is going to happen. Something else is going on here that we're not even aware of yet. So me personally, all of you, we got to raise our awareness here, people. Raise your awareness here. People, with that said, I want to let you know on a little secret. This will be the last video I am doing until, until Tuesday morning. I am going out to Pomona, California for the Nationals, the drag racing Nationals out there. I've never been to Pomona. Um, I, I've always wanted to go here and, and, and do it. So I'm, I'm going there. Uh, I'll be there over the weekend here watching drag racing. So and I, I'll be honest with you, I need, I need a little downtime. This whole thing really uh, it seems to be getting to me a little bit. So uh, with that said, people, look, uh, we got each other's backs, period, the end. And that's just how we roll, you and I, okay? So I want all of you to be safe over the weekend. I want you to ponder the things I'm talking about here. Remember, they want you to look here. That means you need to start looking in the opposite direction. Not only do we have this entire thing coming apart, okay, and accelerating, um, there's something else that's going on here too. And I think uh, we're going to find out what that is as long as we focus on that. So what we're going to do, you and me, we're going to bring it in like we always do, okay? Um, love each other, care about each other, be charitable people. I will see all of you Tuesday. I'll try to get a video. I'm actually coming home Monday, but I'll see if I can get a video. But if I can't, I will see you Tuesday morning um, and we'll, we'll bring everything back up to speed at that point. I, I miss all of you. I'll, I'll love, I love all of you. Um, please share this video, get it out there, and, and let me know what you think, all right? Did, are things really what they seem to be in your opinion? Is this really what it is at face value, or is there something else going on here? All right, look, that's, uh, I'll leave you off with that, all right? I'll see all of you Tuesday. Please, please love each other, care about each other, and be charitable, and I'll see you Tuesday.